Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, lesson 3 of Microsoft Access Database Management System. My name is Omeri Tobias. Of course, last time we looked at relationships. Today we'll be looking at validation rule and validation text. And I will start by just uh, looking at the table, visitors table. And when you are in the visitors table here, where you can be able to move home and just go to the design view and uh, we wish to do some validation but first I would like to state categorically what is validation. Validation helps to reduce data entry errors and it is used to check that data entered in a field is acceptable when compared to the criteria set in the databases design enforcing referential integrity is just one type of validation and validation does not check that the data is accurate or correct it just checks that the data meets criteria and can be accepted by the field if the data passes a validation check then it will be stored in the field it is, does not pass the validation check it will be re rejected and the error message Will be displayed so that's what we're going to be looking at just now and the different types of validation checks and there are four of them this includes presence type length and range and i'll be for, uh, looking at it uh, keenly as we do it practically here and the first thing that i want to do is i want to enforce a validation rule on gender which is a short text and the field size is up to 255 today we're going to be looking at that not that and the rule that you want to input here let me click there this was an input mask there but we won't we'll not be using this today we will be using a rule that the gender can be either be male or female. So male will be represented by M. Let me make it capital M. And I'm going to be using these and like that. And I will make it or and I'll make my or to be smaller. Again, single quad female or female. So if there are three, you will separate them by with a comma. Then validation text, I will be able to type, it must be M or F. I can say like that. So once you are done that, then we can go to the data. Uh, data sheet and then we look at it let me save it yes so on the gender here if I try to change this F to female then the error must display meaning that the validation is going to reduce the entry errors by a large extent it must be m or f so you can be able to set it out like that ladies and gentlemen for for today i want us to stop from there you'll catch up on lesson four on sorting data my name is Mary Tobias and thank you for watching please subscribe this channel share comment and like the video thank you very much